Hello and welcome to Workers and Resources Silver Republic Campaign Mode Episode 7. My name is Flaming Cacti and today we will be making our coal industry. In the previous few episodes we've been working on putting in fields and farming them which makes crops uh, kind of like grain and then we've used the grain to make alcohol, food, and fabric. And we use the fabric to make clothes, which we then store all of our excess output into the warehouse here. And then we set up a distribution office to keep all of our city essentials well fed with the food, clothes, and alcohol. And we also set up a few lines to begin exporting such food and alcohol and whatnot. So, in this episode I was a little torn about what I wanted to do, but I think going with the coal mining mission is going to be the better of the two. One thing that I do want to address before we get started though, is my city is full. It's overpopulated. I have, if you look down underneath children, I have 269 people who are 21 plus without own flat. And what that means is that they are working age, but they're still living with their parents. So I don't believe they can work if that's the case, or at the very minimum it creates a negative happiness. But they're, uh, they're doing pretty okay, they're pretty happy and they're healthy. Uh, the pollution is a bit close, but they seem to be doing well with it. They don't seem to mind too much. I think maybe because it's not right on top, but I think it would have been better if it was set back a little bit farther. But it is awful nice that they can walk to work. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin working on the coal mining mission. Build a coal mining district. Okay. So, this says, hello, I am Stefan Kovalev, the Minister of Industry in the Soviet Republic. My role is to oversee the industrial sector's growth and ensure efficient production of essential goods for our people. Let us work together to strengthen our industries and build a thriving future for the Soviet Republic. I strongly recommend this prioritizing the establishment of coal mines due to the critical role coal plays in our nation's development. As a key resource in energy generation and an essential component for various industries. Furthermore, coal proves to be an excellent commodity for export, offering us the opportunity to generate profits and strengthen our economy. Okay, great. At the coal mines, we extract unprocessed coal ore, a valuable raw material intended for further processing and cleaning. When establishing coal mines, it is crucial to select locations where coal is abundant. Building mines in areas where, with higher coal reserves will optimize production efficiency and yield a greater supply of this valuable resource. In order to know locations of natural lo resources, you need researches completed. However, the comrades from the Soviet Union found a good place where coal is located. Start digging here. Alright, so essentially, uh, normally what you can do is you can look on your mini-map and you can hover over coal or any number of things and you can see it says required research geological mapping and if you had that research done it would show you an overlay of all the coal deposits on the map. But since this is the tutorial campaign, they they just pointed it out for us. So I'm going to select my coal mine, and we can see the red dots versus the green dots, and you can also see the quality of the source. So the green is where the coal is, essentially. So if we look around, we can see there's no coal over here, uh, not really any coal here, here, but right around this base of the mountain, there's a good, a good deposit right in there. So what we're going to do is we are going to set up our mine like so. Now here's why I'm placing it in this particular direction. 
because coal is a uh, bulky resource. It takes up a lot of volume, and you have to handle tons and tons and tons of it. And there was a conveyor connection that comes off of it. And I'm going to have that conveyor go into the coal ore processing plant, which is going to be the next thing it will talk about. Building a coal mine is pretty expensive. It takes a lot of labor, a lot of work days. Um, there's a there's a lot of tunneling to be done underground, so even though this looks like it's almost done building, the majority of the cost is actually spent in the tunneling phase of construction. So let's let that finish building. We'll bump up the speed. Uh, what do we want to name the area? Kilbrusk is the default name, or Klebrusk. Klebrusk. Klebrusk? I don't know. I don't know. I... Let's see. Uh... Comrade, we have to set up a coal processing plant to transform the raw coal ore into the actual coal needed for industries. This critical facility plays a crucial role in preparing the coal. Okay. So now we have to build a coal processing plant. And we're going to put it... Oh, somewhere maybe like that. Actually, let's uh, flip it with the T button, then rotate a little bit with R, and I'll uh, I'll place it there. And that's building. I'll double speed that to hurry it up. And uh, we should actually consider where we're going to put in the road connection. So let's see. Let's start with the mud road for now. Turn on wireframe. And let's, uh, let's come right along here. Maybe I'll move over a couple more notches. Yeah, like there. Drag it along that way. Then we'll uh, tee it up 90 degrees with the road. Like that. And then we'll have a cut across. Great. All right. So it looks like the coal processing plant finished building. So now it says, Comrade, our objective is to manufacture a minimum of a hot. Comrade, our objective is to manufacture a minimum of 100 tons of processed coal. To achieve this, let us focus our efforts on efficient, on efficient mining, transportation, and processing of raw coal. By optimizing our operations and maintaining a balanced storage system, we will ensure a steady production of processed coal, fueling our industries and driving the progress of the Soviet Republic. All right. Let's uh, build the road a little bit more out, maybe there, and build my road like such. Not because it's necessary, but because we have to put our road somewhere, and may as well be there. All right, so 100 tons of processed coal. Let's pause the game and look at the export, or not export, but the uh, connections to all this. Okay. So we need to have a path, or not a path, but a road that will, let's see, can I bring it that way? I can do something like that. And then something like that. And that'll do nicely. As far as getting a road connection in. Alright, so we need a bus stop in order to bring our citizens there. 
uh, any any bus stop will do. Anything where people will be able to be dropped off. We could also have buses take people directly to the workplace. Maybe, maybe let's do that. Let's upgrade these roads to be gravel. Uh, these mud roads are very slow and cars cannot pass on them. So if you only have mud roads, you're just slowing yourself down. You really want to have some upgraded roads. And gravel's a nice midpoint. It's not too nice and it's not too bad. Alright, so let's let those roads build in. And we'll also need a place to store this coal as well. So let's go to the aggregate tab and click over the storages. And uh, let's see. Do a large aggregate storage. And uh, I'd say there looks like a fine location. Let's put it there. And we'll upgrade those roads to be gravel. Okay, let's get some buses going. We're gonna turn off the wireframe. We'll turn off topographics as well. Okay. So let's get two bus. We're probably more than two. Let's see. So we're going to get the RTO MTZs because they carry a lot of people and we're going to need a lot of people. Uh, so I'm thinking four buses for the mine itself and then how many workers do we need in the processing plant? Only 15. Hmm. You know, in that case, maybe I don't want to bring workers directly to the places. Maybe I'd rather take them to a bus station nearby so that way they will uh, filter to both of them. So let's look at what we have. A uh, bus stop will do fine. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of nice. that there and then we'll select our gravel road and do something like that and something like that all right so that's going to be our bus station for our employees to get dropped off at and then they'll either walk to the coal ore processing plant or to the coal mine, which they are both within walking range of. Great. So let's get these buses going. And uh, do I want more buses than that? Probably could use more buses than that. Let's do six. I think any more than that is going to be wasteful. Or maybe not, but I don't want to take that risk. So we want to load educated people, but not highly educated people. Workers, rather. And we want to unload them. At that bus station, at that bus stop. Alright, so now we can copy it to other vehicles. And we will launch them all. And they will make their way out of the station. Let's take a look at the line and enable some line spacing. It'll slow them down initially, but it'll help them stay more spread out over the course. All right, let's speed it up some. Now, there is one thing about coal that's going to be important to know. It's kind of like grain in the sense that you need a lot of it. And it's not very valuable by itself. 
So things like coal and grain are ideal candidates to be transported by train. Um, for example, let's see. Yeah, here's that truck. Um, it just came from the border and it's bringing a truck full of crops in. 10 tons of crops is the most it can hold, and that's only worth 186 ruble. That's almost nothing. So... It's almost nothing. And coal is going to be the same way, where an entire truck full of coal is going to be almost nothing. So we want to make sure that our coal setup is going to be serviceable by train. I'm I'm okay having the grain not be serviceable by train. This is a tutorial campaign anyways. But we, we're gonna we're gonna kick ourselves if we can't move coal by train. Because there's gonna be no good way to export the coal other than by train, essentially. Versus, at least with the crops, we can transform them into things like clothes and alcohol. Alright, I am looking at this though, and I'm seeing that we're getting low on clothes. So I think what we need to do is we need to tone down our clothing export line. This is a bit of a sidetrack, but I think it's important that we take care of it now. So, you do food, you do clothes, okay. So I'm going to I think what I need to do is I need to rename these lines first. Let me give these new names. We're going to do some names like this. Bongretters Food Export. And similar names for the others. Alright, so I have renamed the lines. I've actually renamed all the lines. It's helpful to stay organized. And I moved a I moved a clothing export vehicle to the food export line. And you can do that by clicking on one of the vehicles, clicking on set line, and then you can select a line to set it to. So we've got these uh, work buses heading over to the mines right now. They should all be full of people. Chock full of people. Oh yeah. So, let's go check out our mine. It's not doing anything yet. We want to store coal in there. We're doing okay for now. Coal ore processing plant. Alright, great. So, I guess just wait for the workers to arrive. Is there anything else I can be doing? Let's see. I can set a new research. And I've been thinking I want to upgrade the work buses from these micro buses. I don't think don't think those micro buses are really what I want to do. So let's put some larger buses on the line. I don't need something massive. Maybe a Z one fifty five. And let's see, do the clothing factories can each get one, distillery can get one, fabric factory can get one, food factory can get one, food factory could probably get two, but maybe, uh, maybe let's start off with one each. So we'll do five lines, look at the lines for passengers. So we'll set that to 
We'll do it like this instead, actually. Do clothing factory one work bus. Clothing factory. I messed that up. I need, yeah, there we go. And a distillery work bus, fabric factory work bus, and a food factory work bus. And that should work pretty good. Let's sell these uh, micro buses. I really don't think we need them, and they're not worth much, so I'm not going to try to keep them around. Let's sell those. Sell those. I'll, 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 I'll be back in a minute. All right, I have sold all of the micro buses. Okay, so did we finish the mission? Let's see. Good, good work, comrades. The diligent efforts in producing coal have been commendable. Your dedication ensures a steady supply of this crucial resource, driving the progress of the Soviet Republic's industries. Great, that is mission complete. What's the uh, coal export mission? Build infrastructure that will allow you to export coal and various other resources. Ooh, time for trains. It's going to be trains coming up next. And we are going to build a railway to service the coal. And while we're building the railway, we will also make a pit stop here. And service the warehouse. And if we do that, Will we still want to use vehicles to export the clothing and whatnot? Hmm. I don't know. But we'll, uh, we'll still make a branch going into it anyways. And it would have been good if I had left myself, if I had built the one with the grain silo with a railroad railroad connection going to it because otherwise it's going to be kind of difficult maybe I can figure something out though all right well uh mission complete good episode uh kind of a short one Let's, let's not overdo it though. Let's uh, let's call it there, and we'll come back in episode eight to build the railway. Well, thank you for watching. This has been Flaming Cacti, and you have been watching the campaign mode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, episode seven. Join me tomorrow for episode eight, where we'll build the railway. Woohoo! Thank you for watching.